Hi, I'm Dr. Zach Shills at Elite Sport and Spine. Today we're going to look at another movement dysfunction that can be common in kids. This is Eliza and she's going to help me out. Can you wave to the camera? <laughs> Alright, today we're going to be looking at diastasis recti, which is just a fancy way of saying a separation in the abdominal wall. Basically just means the muscles that you see as a six pack separate apart a little bit, that connective tissue weakens, and it can cause some other um, dysfunctions in the kinetic chain with muscles and joints. So we're just going to take a look at that and some of the ways that we correct it here. So Liz, I'm going to have you go ahead and lay on your back. So first we can show everyone what we're looking for. Okay. On your back. There we go. Alright, so we're just going to lift up her shirt a little bit and I'm going to have her sit up and what we're going to see is a little bulge form right here. It just means that her two muscles here have separated out a little bit. Alright, so go ahead and sit up for me and that bulge right there is exactly what we're looking for. Now that can commonly be associated with joint restrictions in the lower thoracic spine. But before we adjust that and mobilize it, we want to make sure that this is stabilized. So one of the techniques that we also use for this is dynamic neuromuscular stabilization. So guys, I'm going to have you roll on your side for me. Roll my arm up again. Yep, right there. Shoulder down. So what we want to do here is activate the muscular sling that you have that runs from this hip up to this shoulder. So what I'm going to do here is just resist on her hip, and Liza, I'm going to have you try to roll over like you're going to go on all fours. Alright, so you can see as she's activating that, we want to make sure that this stays here so that that muscle sling activates. And by activating that sling, what we're helping to do is just close this down the diastasis recti that she has to give her better core and abdominal function so that she can stabilize that lumbar and thoracic spine.